Welcome back to Wegg's Garage. We're back to work on the interior for our 1964 Triumph TR4. Today the goal is going to be to get our transmission tunnel carpet installed. Let's get started. Get our carpets kind of loosely fit into place. Uh, we're just making sure we know where everything goes. Some people have had issues getting their center supports over the tunnel with all the carpet and under felt in place, but to me it doesn't look like it's going to be much of a problem. Uh, with some bolts I think we'll be able to squish it down. So I think at least to start we're going to leave all of the under felt in that area. Some people do cut around that, but we're gonna try leaving that for now. The first thing we gotta do is get this underfelt attached to the transmission tunnel cover, and then after that we gotta figure out where all the little snaps go that hold the carpet onto the tunnel. So we'll start with the jute, then we'll be moving on to snaps. Gotta take it apart. <laughs> This steering wheel is a pain in the ass. You should get a quick release, like a race car. And that ain't gonna happen, uh, how is it? Ooh. No, not with an attitude like that. Oh, you're snug, Mark. Okay, right, we're, we're looking, ready. We're looking good over here. All right, quick update here. We got a little bit of sound deadening on there, and we've got our prop shaft tunnel cover on, ready to go. Uh, we actually have one on either side old snap to uh, kind of go off of here. So we cut around those. There's plenty of extra room to make sure we could snap it down. Also cut around these seatbelt brackets here. So this is ready to glue down. Okay, so we're looking at our snap locations here. Uh, what we've been able to find, we don't have any snaps on our gearbox cover yet. It's a new cover, so we're gonna have to figure out where those go. It looks like the car originally would have had three snaps on each side on this piece of carpet. So there's one pretty far up to the front, one kind of in this area, and then one underneath the shifter from the pictures we've seen. This is the little assembly right here. It's three pieces. You have a, a male part of the snap that goes into the gearbox cover. Then you have this little ring that actually snaps onto the uh, snap, I guess, like so. And then this little metal ring which goes through the carpet. And I guess if it was black carpet, it would probably disappear completely in there, but probably be able to see this a little bit, but it buries itself in the carpet and holds the snap on. So 
In order to do this, what we have to do is first add these snaps onto our gearbox cover and then locate them through the carpet so we can mount this onto the carpet. So we're going to get these put on now and then we'll try and find them so we can attach these onto the carpet. Okay, you can see we got our snaps in place here. Uh, screwing into this plastic, uh, I would definitely advise you be very careful. Uh, it feels like you could easily over tighten that and end up with a loose and then, I don't know, I guess you could come in from the backside with a washer or something, but we didn't do that. So, uh, but we didn't have any problems getting it onto this plastic. It worked, worked pretty well. So we've got the the inner snap ring in place as well. So now we're just gonna set the carpet over the top and then we'll be pulling it and trying to line up those uh, clamping rings to get the snaps attached to the carpet. Okay, you can see we got our first two in place on either side of here. Uh, I think the location looks pretty good. You can see that all you can really see of the snap itself is this little ring right here uh, from the outside. So it's kind of a clever little system. Uh, tools we use for this, we use this wood block to back the uh, metal ring and then from the opposite side tapped it with this hammer to bend those ears over. Uh, the awl we use to kind of locate the snap on here and then uh, flipped it up, put the block under there and tapped it home. So now I just have four more to do moving up so it'll be a little uncomfortable working under there but we'll uh, get her done as quickly as possible. Alright, so this is usually the part of the video where we show off all the cool work that we successfully completed today. But uh, we found something a little bit different here. Okay, so we did get all the snaps into place and then uh, we just wanted to double check the position of the center support and kind of realized that we missed the mark on this a little bit. I don't know if it shows on camera or not, but when this is in the right position, this piping seam should be right up against the support uh, and where we have the snaps installed uh, basically just doesn't work. It's either too bunched up over here or too tight over there. So that is uh, if you do take away anything from today's edition of Wegg's Garage, it's that this piece of carpet probably needs to be installed with the center support in place. Otherwise you really don't have any reference on where this seam goes. And like us, you'll just kind of put it wherever fits nice. Then by the time you get done, you're going to put the center support in and find out that it doesn't line up. So unfortunately, the sun is going down and uh, that's about all the time we have for today. So. Next week, we'll be doing more transmission tunnel cover. But right now, as Dad says, it is Miller time.
All right, well, as always, I hope you are able to learn from our mistakes as much as from our triumphs. I uh, didn't feel like we got a ton accomplished today, but I guess we know exactly what we need to do for next time. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, it means a lot having everybody tune in every w week, leaving comments. Uh, probably be right around Thanksgiving when this video comes out, so hopefully you're having a great Thanksgiving. So anyway, that's all the time we got for today. We'll see you next time. Later.